Hi friends, in the previous video, I explained about, setting local repository using installation CD. In this video, I am going to talk about, something different and advanced. What if, we have some downloaded RPM files and we want to set them as a local repository. Today, I am going to talk about, setting a local repository using the downloaded RPM files. I am going to demonstrate it, and install VLC player, from that repository, after setting it. I already downloaded the required packages for VLC player, which is not available in installation CD. First, we need to install, create repo, which is available in installation CD. For that, open terminal in root user. Then type, yum install create repo, which will install the create repo package. Enter Y for confirmation. Now, the create repo package is installed. I am keeping the downloaded RPM files in, slash home, slash RPM underscore files, slash packages folder. Open the RPM underscore files folder. And open terminal here. Then type, create repo, packages slash dot. It will create the required database files for the repository. After that we can configure this folder as a new repository. Now, you can see that, a new folder is created in packages folder, which contains the metadata of packages. Then, open the folder, slash etc, slash yum.repos.d, and open terminal here, in root user. Then, copy the media.repo as, as extra.repo, to the same folder. For that, type, cpmedia.repo, extra.repo. Now, open the extra.repo file in text editor. For that, type, gedit, extra.repo. Now, we have to do some modifications in this file. First, change the name of the repository to extra. Then, delete the line, media ID, which indicate the mounted CD drive. Finally, copy the location of our RPM folder. And change the base URL, to the path of our RPM folder. That's all. Then, save and close the file. Now, type, yum update in terminal. It will updates the repositories in our system. Here, you can see that, the repository extra is added in our system. Now, type, yum repolist, to see the enabled repositories in the system. Here also you can see that, the repository extra is enabled, and listed with 41 packages. Now, I am going to install VLC player, from the newly created repository. For that, type, yum install, VLC in terminal. Enter Y for confirmation. Now, we are seeing that, the dependency packages are installing. Now, the installation of VLC player is complete. As you seen earlier, the dependency packages are downloaded from both the repositories, and the VLC player is accessible from the application menu. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for a lot more information tips.